good to the face. Got some foreign full speed like a race. What up, guys? I'm back with another tutorial here on how to create a lyric video on Final Cut Pro 10. The way I start off is by bringing a basic title over here to the timeline. Once I have that here, I select it and I hit Option, Command, and Up. That will basically lift the title from the storyline here so we don't have any trouble with the magnetic timeline, which is kind of a big frustration when you're working on music videos and, and lyric videos alike. Let's bring our song over here to the timeline. Now that we have our song and our title here on the timeline, we can start playing the song and see exactly where we want our lyrics to go. Hey, yo, T, run that shit up. Run that shit up. Hold it to the face. Got some fun. So that's where I'm going to place it. It sounds like he starts the song right here. I'm going to go ahead and listen to the song and copy and paste the lyrics where I want to place them here on the timeline. Hold it to the face. Got some what I like to do is shorten the title to where he starts and where he ends it and then continue with the lyrics as they go to be in sync with the song. Command C to copy. I'll go back here, double click basic title. Command V to paste. And I usually like to select a you know modern font to go along with it. My favorite is the Bebas New. Usually make the font a little bit bigger. Try to center it a bit. Hold to the face. Got some and then we could option and drag the title to copy that. And we'll go ahead and listen to see what lyrics need to go next. Got some foreign full speed like a race. Alright, so it looks like that line ends right here. We'll go ahead and copy this over here. Man V. And it looks like it doesn't fit all the way. And I like to have it the font really big on the screen to make a bigger impact. So what I do, what I could do is split it up. So what I'll do is delete the second half of that. Let's see. Guess the foreign. Paste that again. Delete the First part. See how it looks. Hold to the face. Got some foreign full speed like a race. The next part. Maxed up, no face, no case. Again, I option dragged over here. Paste. Alright, let's take a listen. Race. Maxed up, no face, no case. I basically repeat this process until I have the whole song laid out here on the timeline. Once I have the lyrics laid out here on the timeline, the next part that I focus on is spicing up the video, like uh, what video or image I could add to the background to make it more entertaining. And what I usually do for these types of videos is do a quick Google search, look for GIFs that kind of match the vibe of the song and the lyrics. So I went on Google and just picked up this um, smoke GIF that I will place right here under the lyrics. Let's see how it looks after I copy it here on the timeline a few times. And you know, GIFs are important because of the constant movement and it just loops, right? So it's gonna keep going forever and ever. So let's check it out. Hold to the face. Got some foreign full speed like a race. Master, no face, no case. I'm already loving that vibe of the smoke gif in the background here and the lyrics on top of it. If I could think of a different way to make it a little bit more entertaining or different is maybe even changing the color of the smoke as it's playing in the background there. So the way that we would do that is selecting the clip here on the timeline, hitting Command-6, and then we could add here a color correction, a color board correction. And what we'll do is select this pin right here to create that keyframe. And what we'll do is focus on the white, right? So 
we'll move this over to about a fourth of the way here on the timeline. We'll select this white adjustment here and I'll move it over here to the top corner on the left where the reds start off. And then right here on the timeline, I will move it over to about three fourths there. And we can move this circle here all the way to the opposite side. It'll create another keyframe. And because we are working with a loop, we got to return it back to its original spot. So in the last frame of this clip, we'll go back and select that circle here, put it back to white. Let's see how that looks. To the face. Got to form full speed like a race. So what it's doing is changing it, the color, you know, from one spectrum to the other spectrum, just the way I wanted it. To finalize that part, if you like that vibe, delete the other ones that we had copied over and we could just copy this one and paste it to loop it we'll see how it looks got to form full speed like a race master no face no case shorty want me so I let it give me face hey I was really liking that vibe for the video so what I'll do is add it to the rest of the of the timeline here to make sure that we have it for everything so I'll move that over forward to the beginning and then copy it over for the rest of the video there and then last but not least we also come back here to the beginning and add a intro the artist name and the song and the feature so I'll go ahead and select option and drag this out here to the beginning and I'll extend this over here the name of the song is called Face We'll make the font here bigger. It's the name of the song. Put this here in the middle. Option drag out another title here. The name of the artist is G Maney. And I'll just add that to the top. Change the font. Hit done. Run that shit up. Run that shit up. At this point, our lyric video is done. We have the lyrics on the timeline here, the visuals on the background to make it a little bit more eye catching. And we're ready to upload this on Instagram, on YouTube, wherever this content needs to be played out. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I really hope it helped somebody out there. You guys let me know if you have any questions or what you thought about this video down here in the comments, and I'll be responding to everybody and help you guys any way that I can. Thank you and peace. Poet to the face. Got to form full speed like a race. Master, no face, no case. Shorty want me, so I let it give me face. Hey.